So I'm just doing a video on some new software. It's a, it's open source and it's free. It's not made by me. Um, it's on GitHub, and I'll put a link in the in the description. But it's some really nice looking software. And like you can see, it looks clean, simple, works well. The guy developing it is so helpful. If you've got any any suggestions or any problems, he's really you know bang on it. But the, the good thing is with the whole JAG app and everything that we're doing with that, it works so much better than Open Auto with it. So there's a lot more customization and it feels a lot more integrated. So if I just show you the standard Android Auto bits first, so this is this is just the home screen. So if I just plug my phone in. into Android Auto. That's on night mode at the moment, but as you can see it looks pretty familiar to all the others. But the, the nice part of this software is this bar down the side. So you've got a media player, you can do Bluetooth or you can do local music. It's got some basic OBD functionality, but I think I'll be putting that um, into my own app solely just for speed purposes. This this is done for a normal OBD connector. I'm going to be doing it through CAN bus sniffing, like we do with all the rest of it. Got a nice setting page and a ton of customization in it. You got all your visual settings. You can choose what tabs you want down the side. Bluetooth settings. You've got shortcuts. Now these are really nice because these do. You can map GPIOs into certain functions. So you can see this launcher page, which I'll show you in a minute. That's mapped to GPIO5, which is hooked up to this button. It's not quite working right at the moment. So I'm working with uh, Robert, the guy who done the software, just trying to get that working. Just need to send him some some logs after he's put on some extra login. Uh, hopefully that shouldn't be too long. But the really nice bit is this button here. So if you remember in Open Auto, to get into the JAG app, you'd have to you'd have to minimise or quit Android Auto. Then you'd have to go into like Applications. You'd have to go Home Page, Applications, find the app, click it, then it will launch and then it'll open. And to get back into Android Auto, you'd have to do all of that again, and you'd have to wait for it to load. This button here is what's called. He's called it the app launcher. So if you just click it, it goes straight in to the app. So you can go Android Auto app, and it's just instant, which is so nice to be able to do. It completely changes the whole dynamic of you feeling a lot more integrated into the car. Uh, so I'll put a link to the the software. It's a bit tricky to get installed and get it going, but it's definitely worth giving it a test, especially if you've got your own custom apps. If you just want the basic stuff then you know open auto might be best, you know, it's just an image that you flash on. I've done a bash script for this so it's pretty much just a click to install and it will just go through. Um, I just need to do a pull request to the main project and see if we can get included in there. I'll do a video on how it's installed and we'll go from there. <laughs> 